So today's video, we're going to be making these cute little pocket hugs. And I'm going to be using blue and pink number four worsted weight yarn with a 4.25 millimeter hook. But you can use whatever hook goes with your yarn. I just like to have a little tighter stitch, so I go a little smaller. Then our darning needle, our scissors, some safety eyes or googly eyes or thread to embroider eyes will be, come in handy. So to get started, you're going to make a loop, but leave a bit of a tail. You can also make your magic ring or your chain three. Just remember that it's going to be about 12 half double crochets in there. So whatever size you need for that, if you're making your loop, mine might be a little big, but the heart's going to cover it. Okay, so you're going to pull through chain one. And this is not going to count for any of your stitches. You're going to do 12 half double crochets into this loop. So yarn over, down through, pull up, and pull three, through all three loops. And that's your half double, and I'm, I'm already stuck. I've already started this video four times, so I'm just going to redo that. <laughs> pull through, chain one and your half double crochet. Yarn over, go in and pull through, and go through all three loops. So that's one, two, something's going on there. Three, it's probably because I've redone this so many times. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And then you're going to go into this stitch on top of your uh, first half double crochet and just do a slip stitch and chain one, which again doesn't count. And you're gonna do two half double crochets in each stitch around. So one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, thirteen, and fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. 17 and 18, 19 and 20, 21 and 22, 23, 24, and slip stitch up in here on top of your, your first half double crochet. I don't know where this little black piece of yarn came from. I do not have any black out. Gray, maybe. Okay, for the next round, chain one, which again won't count. You're gonna do two half double crochets in that same stitch where you just chain one. So one, two, and then you're gonna do one half double crochet and a half double crochet in increase, and you're gonna do that twice. So one half double crochet, and then two half double crochets in the next stitch. That's one set. Then you're gonna do that again. One half double crochet, and then two half double crochets in the next stitch for two sets. And now you're gonna start your arms. So you're going to do a slip stitch into that 
next stitch and you're going to chain 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now count down 5 stitches from your hook. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and you're going to do a slip stitch into that 5th stitch. And then you're going to slip stitch all the way down to the bottom of your arm. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then you're going to slip stitch into this next stitch. And then you're going to do five sets of one half double crochet and two half double crochets in the next stitch. So one half double crochet, two double crochets in the next stitch for one set, one half double crochet, and then two half double crochets for two sets one half double crochet and then two half double crochets for three sets one half double crochet and then two half double crochets for four sets i hope <laughs> one half double crochet and two half double crochets that should be five. And yep, looks like it. So we'll start our next arm now. So we'll go into the next stitch and slip stitch. And then we're going to chain 10 again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Count down from the hook. Five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch in that fifth stitch and slip stitch down the rest of the arm. One, two, three, four, five. And then we are going to slip stitch into the next stitch. Now we're going to do, what do we end on, two? Um, okay, we're gonna do, I believe, two sets of one half double crochet and then an increase of two half double crochets. So one half double crochet, oops, two half double crochets for one set, then one half double crochet two half double crochets for two sets and then we're just going to sneak one more half double crochet right in that last stitch and then slip stitch up here at the top I think it's right there and then tie that off and leave a little bit of an end on there whoopsie start the heart okay so for the heart we're gonna do like we did before and we're gonna make a loop or however you start and we're gonna pull through and we're gonna chain two this time you want to go over your tail if you can we're going to do three double crochets. So one, two, and three. And then we're going to do three half double crochets. One, Two, 
two, three. So that's your one side, and now we're gonna do the point. So you chain one, you're gonna do a double crochet. Chain one, and now we're gonna reverse what we did for the other side. So it'll be three half double crochets. And then we'll do three double crochets. One, two, three, and then chain two, one and two. And bring that down into the hole and just give it a slip stitch and tie it off. Now, if you want to sew your heart on, leave a tail. I'm not sewing it on, so, so I'm just gonna leave a tiny little tail and put that through the heart. So to sew the heart on, we're gonna take this, this piece that we had cut a little long at the beginning, and we're just gonna put it up through wherever you feel like the heart should be. Um, try not to put it through the hole in the center. That's how I did my first one. And if it gets pulled, see, well, it could have been tighter for one. And you can see them strings. But I didn't know what I was doing when I did the first one. So I just pull that up through, hook it into one of your arms there. Just one of the loops. This guy's going to be not quite holding his heart close. Put it back down through. And then get your other arm. This guy's going to be holding it pretty crooked, looks like. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'll work. I mean, they can't all be the same, right? You gotta got, have a few that are a little different. <laughs> Up and through. And then get on your other loop and down. Now you can tack that a lot more. For, for me, that's fine. Oh, look, he's holding it to the side. Cute. And then I just take my ending tail, and I'm putting a back on this so I don't have to be too concerned about weaving it in. If you're leaving it at this stage, you'll want to weave this end, these ends in pretty good. I'm just going to tie them, and well, if I get the needle through, there we go and leave them as they are. Just make sure, if you're doing it my way, that you don't pull too tight and he's no longer a circle. Although my, that might even work too. Because who says he needs to be a circle? And I think I'm gonna clip those. So if you are not going no further and this is how you're finishing him, you'll just get your eyes on. I picked the big googly eyes. I thought the little ones weren't as nice. Uh, I, I, let's see. But I mean, use whatever you have. Embroidery, thread. I think it's safety eyes, which you would want to put them on now, but if you're doing double-sided, I don't know how that works with the back sticking out. So I thought something that would be really cute. You made a little card. And I just put, like, 
some poem about being a hug for you. If you're blue, you don't know what to do. Here's a special heart. I love you or something. I don't know. I need a third verse there that has you at the end. But I can't think of one. Okay, let's get rid of these guys. So if you're gonna put it back on like this, you'll wanna put your safety eyes on now and make it easier for embroidering your eyes. Get that done first. And then we'll start on the back. It's pretty much exactly the same thing as the first piece, except you won't be doing the arms. Okay. So we'll be putting 12 half double crochets in this loop. So pull up, chain one, and do your 12 half double crochets. And this time do go over top of your yarn tail. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, and then slip stitch into the top of your first half double crochet. Is this guy making it hard to see the blue on blue? Okay, so you're gonna chain one, which again, will not count towards a stitch. And you're gonna do an increase in every stitch so you have 24 stitches around. So one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, nine and 10, 11 and 12, 13, and 14, 15, and 16, 17, and 18, 19, and 20, 21, and 22, and 23 and 24. And then into that top stitch, chain one. And then now you're gonna do one single crochet, one increase all the way around. Make sure you're going in that same stitch you just chained up from. So one, Two and three, four, five and six, seven, eight and nine, ten, eleven and twelve, what's happening here? Sorry, thirteen, fourteen and fifteen, sixteen, 17 and 18, 19, 
20 and 21, 22, 23 and 24, 25, 26 and 27, 28, 29 and 30, 31, 32 and 33, 34, and 35 and 36. And then you'll slip stitch on the top of that first half double crochet. Now you're gonna join these two together and you want the back sides together and I try to make sure I have it at the top of the head in case I want to put like a little loop up there that's where I end I just like to have all as much one thread the less cutting the less tie tying the better so about the center I'm just gonna go in the next stitch on this side and where you slip stitched on that side you can see that and you're just going to do a single crochet oops I've I actually like to flip it the other way around so sorry one second I thought that seemed weird so the first stitch is awkward if you're going to do like me and flip it around so get in there and then in your stitch you are just in okay so now single crochet all the way till you get to the arms. Make sure you're getting through both the front and the back. I actually really like this, these color combinations of this light blue and this bright pink. Okay, so when you're at the arm, you're going to go in where you slip stitched here and where you slip stitched here, but on the back side, like the arm's going to be forward. So go in on this side, make sure you get the, a stitch behind, pull through. Do your single crochet and then fold that arm around so you can get back in on this side and then get into the next stitch on the back. And then continue around to the next arm. If you tend to put in the wrong stitch and you have an extra stitch on one side not the other, it's a pretty forgiving pattern when you start getting closer to the end and you see, oh, I have one extra stitch on one side. Either put two stitches in or just keep going and hopefully it just kind of sorts itself out. Very technical. <laughs> or if you're a perfectionist, go back, redo around the arms and do it again. <clears throat> <coughs> I need to have a drink. I've been sitting at this table all day messing up my video. And I just want to go back and sit on the couch and do catch up with some of my crochet orders. I figured I'd try this YouTube thing, so I better try and get a video up every once in a while. And I don't think I put one up for a week and a half or something, or at least a week. Okay, so get down in that 
slip stitch in front of the arm through the other side, single crochet, pull the arm around and get back under in that slip stitch. And then we'll see how we did. Looking good so far. Yep, yeah, looks like I have one or two stitches left. It's my slip stitch stitch. And then you'll slip stitch into this first stitch. You can end here, tie off. I'm gonna do a chain of 20. One, whoop, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and just come back in until where you slip stitched and do another slip stitch and tie off. And you just need to leave enough to get it back inside there. And you'll just put that in. And I'm not doing a big secure or weave in. I'm just, I'm just getting it in there. I don't, sometimes I never know where to put my, well, I'll go in and out a few stitches. Oops, not out that far. Okay. Just give it a tug so the knot where you slip stitched is kind of hidden. Cut that off. Oh, with my heart to the side, it kind of looks funny in there. But. And then do whatever you're doing for your eyes. And now you have your very own little pocket hug. Does his eyes go there? Yeah. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Don't forget if this is something you enjoy making to save it to your playlists. And then when you want to come back, say a couple months, you want to make one again and you can't find the video, just go to your playlist and it'll be saved down in there. Um, happy crocheting and take care.